What's going on, everybody? I know it's been a little bit since I posted. Um, I hurt my shoulder probably a month and a half ago, um, and it just hasn't really gotten better. Um, the video that I shot at New London was actually uh, probably the week before that was when my shoulder started hurting, but I'd already planned a trip to go up there and see those guys um, and play, so I wasn't gonna cancel that. Um, but y'all, I don't know if y'all could tell or not, but my, my shoulder was, was bothering me a little bit when I was playing there. Um, and it's been frustrating because I've missed making videos. I've missed um, recording and, and, and playing even. Um, I think I've played twice in the last two months, something like that. Um, and that's been tough with how much content I was putting out. Um, but I think that it's important to come out and still try and um, play. So today we're gonna be doing a video of playing while injured because injuries are a real thing. Um, and it's good to continue to use your body, um, to use the things that are injured, uh, but just obviously not at the same scale as you may have used them before. Um, and so there wasn't like a, a, an event or something where I hurt myself. It was a mixture of a couple things, working out, playing a lot of disc golf, and then sleeping poorly on my shoulder um, to where it's just, it's super tight and it's like underneath my shoulder blade and it's, it's just frustrating and uncomfortable. Um, but the Carolina Clash, which was the tournament I was preparing for and really excited about, is this weekend. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to play it or not, which would really suck because um, I'd love to, but then again, I'm definitely not prepared for it. Um, but today, that's what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna be throwing lots of flippy stuff. I'm gonna be playing the long layout here at Scrapyard, um, and we're gonna see what we can do. Taking it easy, throwing more flippy things, learning how to like be effective with lower arm speed and all that kind of stuff. Um, and still trying to protect myself. So it should be fun. I'm excited. Thank you guys for your patience. We'll see what we can do during the off season. Appreciate you. Let's get it. So forehands are, are pretty tough with, with my shoulder right now, but I think we can still do them with like some lightweight things. It's pretty cold out here. Um, so we'll see how we can do, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw my chameleon stag here. We got 262 feet straight down and to the right. I feel like it's more like 300, but who knows? Um, so I'm gonna throw this stag down the right side with just a little bit of power. I'm not gonna throw it too hard, um, not only because it'll turn over, but also just for, for the sake of, of my, my shoulder. And we're just gonna try and take it nice and easy here. That was sick. But even that, like y'all could tell, like that was, that was a lot smoother than I would normally throw on this. That went straight, I threw it really easy. And honestly, it was a little uncomfortable. <laughs> so hurt or not, this is a, a pretty good drive on this hole. Um, obviously, because of the lack of power, we didn't push down here um, as far as we would have wanted to, but it was pretty good. I'm okay with it. I'm trying to figure out how I want to stand here because there's a awkward sort of log. All right, first putt of the day. No warm up, none of that. <laughs> That's what I do when I come out. All right, get it there, let's go. Yep, that's kind of what I figured it would look like. That's in. All right, so second part of the day was a good one. So that'll be a par in this hole, which is fine. So I imagine that my putts will be a little more floaty today because even, even the normal putting stroke, I can, I can feel it. So we just gotta try and be consistent and, and protect myself out here. Okay, so this hole, 353 feet, that's gonna be a little bit tough. One of the most important things I would say when it comes to, um, at least from my experience, playing when you're kind of injured in, in, I guess, mobile areas of your body, like a shoulder, is not stopping your movement. So I don't want to come up here and just do this because then it, it stops it and kind of, um, I don't know, puts more pressure on it. It's gonna be really important to get up and follow through so that there isn't that 
like jolt or shocking. Um, so we are going to throw, I think I might throw, no, I'm gonna throw something a little bit lighter. Um, I'm gonna throw this stag that is pretty beat in um, and I'm just gonna be smooth and flat with it and we'll see what type of distance we can get on it. Really gonna try and follow through here. Yeah, so obviously that's not gonna go 353 feet, but that didn't hurt my arm or, or anything like that. Um, I will try and throw one down there now. We'll throw the same stag that we threw the forehand on, and I'm just gonna try and ramp it up just a little bit while still being aware of, of my shoulder. So that didn't hurt either. Um, I didn't throw it on the right angle, but that definitely had the power to get there. All right, so kind of have a weird little line here. We're kind of blocked. I think I'm gonna try and go up to the left with this soft justice and, and have it crash down. That's probably the best option here. So just a little high ante that's gonna dive to the right. Exactly what we were looking for. All right. So starting off with pars, it'll be interesting to see how I can shoot taking it easy. Cause a lot of times I feel like you can shoot better when you're taking it easy. All right, so this hole, I normally throw like an evader on with a little bit of ante. Um, and I think that'll still work for us here. Um, because sometimes I'll turn it over too much and it'll hit that guardian, it'll hit that last tree on the right. So with the amount of power we're going to be able to give this, I think we'll get it to a good spot. This hole is 297 feet and it's a dog leg left. You might say, why are you throwing fairway driver on a 297 foot hole um, when you could throw a putter on this hole? Um, it's, it's what I feel comfortable with and it's what is effective for me. So if you're effective, if you can birdie this every time throwing a distance driver and you can't throwing a putter, but you can like, you have the power to get there, then why would you throw a putter? <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm throwing a fairway driver. It's what works for me on this hole. Let's see if we can get it down there. Oh my gosh. All right, so this is actually uh, not bad. We got lucky coming through the woods and didn't hit anything. This is the exact shot we would have wanted if we just hadn't missed our line and thrown it like 15 feet to the left or whatever. All right, so let's see if we can get a little stepper in here. I gotta float this there and really, really commit on getting it to the basket. Oh man, I can, I can like feel it stopping me at the top from really being able to commit. Oh, y'all see that deer back there? A couple of them, that was pretty cool. People pointed that out in one of my videos recently, deer in the background, and I saw it and I was like, whoa, that's wild that that happened and I had no clue. All right. So another par, which, hey, we're injured and we're shooting par golf, so it's not too bad. <laughs> All right, so this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna do two different things just to show you all. So normally I throw the stag on here and I'm still gonna throw the stag just on a hyzer and try and get it out there in the fairway. This is one that I think we can par or that we can birdie pretty easily whether healthy or not. So we're just gonna try and get this around the corner. All right, that might be a little bit inside, so I'll probably have to throw a forehand. The other thing that I wanted to throw here was this diamond from Lore. Shout out to Lore. Um, 
throwing the diamond on a little bit of a hyzer, like nice and easy, it'll pop up and carry. Not gonna hurt me at all. Really, really easy shot to throw. And the disc is just gonna fly great. So the diamond's a negative three one. Also this hole is 432 feet, par four. We go around the left and then we throw straight about <clears throat> 200, maybe 300 feet or so. See how easy that was though? So pretty much the same shot, but I just threw it like I was throwing a putter, but it went way further. So the diamond is right here and the stag is right there. Um, obviously the stag is in a better position, but this was super easy and still effective. Needed to flip up a little bit more to give us a better angle. All right, so as y'all can see, this is a super, super tight gap that we're gonna be throwing through here. I'm gonna be throwing my bounty flat on a forehand and it should push straight and go a little bit left and then maybe stable out depending on how much power I give it. Dang it. That one was, that one was pretty uncomfortable, if I'm honest. Now, I want y'all to know, I'm not out here just hurting myself for a video. If I feel like I'm hurting myself, I'm gonna go home. <laughs> um, so trust me, I'm out here trying to see what it feels like to play, trying to take it easy, all that kind of stuff. Um, so do not worry, I am not out here uh, just hurting myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little throw here, a little any throw with the putter. Yeah, oh, that was sick. Try another one, give this one a little bit more. Good stuff. So I could have thrown both of these a little bit harder, um, but it's interesting whenever you're hurt and it's and you're hurt in an area that limits your throw, um, how like your release point and everything changes because you start to get resistance at a point that you're not used to getting resistance at. So all of these throws that I'm doing when I say I'm feeling it, I'm not saying that it's like a sharp pain or anything like that. My muscle is just tightening early, and so you feel it in that area, and it makes you like change your throw and all that kind of stuff. So that's why a couple of my release points have been off on shots that I'm normally really uh, consistent at. So we'll uh, we'll see how this how this ends up playing out today. All right, so hole five, 284 feet, pretty much dead straight uphill. Probably plays close to 300 or so. Um, I'm gonna throw the stag again on a forehand and just try and. Aim down the middle, a little bit of power, not gonna try and overdo it too much or anything like that. Um, see if we can get it to turn a little bit left and then stable out around those trees. Ah, oh, man. That was actually pretty close to being a, a good shot. Um, it went dead straight. Normally that thing flips for me. I showed y'all how low my power is right now. All right, so this is just gonna be a little forehand with the Matteo Maiden. Not throwing it too hard here. Oh, all right, another par. <laughs> so my best that I've shot out here was nine down. Um, it was a practice round for the clash. I wasn't recording, I was out here just like playing and trying to focus, not being distracted by the camera. Shot nine down. I think my best recorded round is probably six or seven. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. I'm hoping that we can maybe get two down or something like that. I'd, I'd feel pretty happy with that, honestly. So honestly, with how my, for, with how my uh, I was gonna say how my forehand feels, with how my shoulder feels and everything, uh, throwing any sort of stable forehand is a no. Um, this hole is a fun one. It's 332 feet and it goes straight about 250 feet with this tree in the middle and then it kind of fades down to the right just a bit. Um, I've parked it before with this stag throwing down the right side of this gap and having it get a full flight. I don't know if I can do that with my shoulder right now. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is aim 
right at the tree in the middle and hope to miss it just a little bit left and then see if we can get some, some action on this disc. So I'm going to be aiming right at it, throwing with a little bit of power and hope that our, our miss is left. Oh, too much. Yeah, so that's what the disc normally does when I throw it. All right, so not in the best position here. Actually going to try and throw the stack again on an ante. Um, and see if we can get ourselves a look here. Oh, I think that's good. I think that might be a circles putt. I'm not sure if I threw it far enough, but that shouldn't be too bad. All right, so this is our first like legitimate tester putt um, that we should make. For par, get it in there. Yeah, dude. Let's go. All right, that's big. That felt good, nice and smooth. Good stuff. Playing par golf, ladies and gentlemen, which I'm honestly pretty surprised by. All right, so hole seven here, the only par five on the course. 765 feet. This is a round ruiner. Oh, there's a deer down there, another deer. This is a round ruiner, even when you're healthy. Um, but a lot of times it's a round ruiner because you go for things that you shouldn't necessarily be going for. So we're gonna take the stag here as a deer runs by up there. That's fitting. And I'm just gonna try and be nice and easy and throw it straight because Literally, that's all that you need on this hole. You don't need to bite off a lot off of this first shot. So I'm just gonna throw it straight, nice and smooth and straight. Nice and smooth and straight. Just don't wanna flip it over, but also don't wanna throw it on a hyzer. Please, come out of that in front of it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so many emotions. Oh, that was so close but that'll work. Okay, so we're in a pretty good spot right here. Um, thinking about my power and what I'm able to achieve right now with my injury, I don't think the, that a backhand is the way to go because I don't want to end up on the left. Um, I don't want to end up on the left. On the left, I want to end up on the right side of the fairway down there. So I might take the stag here and intentionally throw it on Annie kind of down the right side, try and come inside this other tree and then have it stable up. Um, I think that's probably going to be the best choice and the best approach. So we will pick this stag up and uh, give it a little one, two step and give it some power, but I'm not gonna overdo it. And then also make sure that I go through with my follow through. <sighs> Aiming at the big tree on the right. <sighs> oh, I gave it too much. Set it down the middle. Ah, oh, man, I even felt that. I want to see what a backhand would have looked like because the tree on the left is a little bit in my way. Um, but like, let's see, let's see what a diamond would have looked like if I give it some power on like a hyzer. Yeah, so that was the other idea. Let that flip up nice and easy. All right, so the stag's right there. The diamond is up here. We're laying at two right there. I think I'm gonna try and throw the exact shot that I just threw with the diamond, but from this location. Um, throw it on hyzer. Honestly, a lot of hyzer. I don't want it to, I don't want it to turn right at all from this position. I want it to hold hyzer and just push the whole way down the fairway. So I'm gonna throw this with power, but on, on a pretty good amount of hyzer. Oh my gosh. Oh, three inches to the left, 
And honestly, I think that would have given us a birdie putt. That was an incredible shot. All right, so from here, this may seem crazy, but I think I'm gonna take my Justice and throw it on some Annie and see if we can have it cut and, and get down to the basket. This is gonna be the most stable thing I've thrown all day. Oh yeah. Sit down. Wow. That was an incredible shot. All right, so honestly, par any day on this hole <laughs> is good. Um, and yeah, par any day on this hole is good, uh, whether I'm injured or not. So I'm, I'm happy with that, man. We're just playing some par golf right now. Let's go. All right, everybody in Charlotte loves this hole. Everybody in Charlotte loves this hole. Hole eight out here. Ace run, 299. Pretty fun shot. Gonna take my stag, the more understable one, um, and just try and throw it flat. Let it get a little bit of a pan. Um, not trying to pump it or anything. It is 300 feet and I wanna make it across the water. There is out of bounds. So I'm gonna throw it a little bit harder than I may have up until this point. I am starting to feel pretty sore, if I'm honest, after eight holes. So still wanna try and have good form. And, uh, and get it down there. Just stay in bounds. Nice, that'll give me a putt. Okay, so normally, with the power and the way that I throw that effectively, it would have turned. And honestly, <laughs> probably been right under the basket, but that's really, really good. That's good for how I'm feeling. Now this is what I'm talking about. Good birdie for us, y'all. The first one. Whoo! What is that over there? Wait, that literally looks like an otter. Oh, it's a it's a duck. I think my heart just wanted it to be an otter. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, good birdie. All right, so this is another pretty iconic hole out here. Um, I just want to make sure I get over the water. I still don't think I'm going to throw a distance driver. I think I'm going to throw the more stable stag uh, just on a hyzer. And my, my goal here is not trying to birdie this one. My goal is just keeping my disc dry. Um, so I'm going to throw this on a hyzer out there. Give it some power and uh, see what we can do. Holy cow, that was an incredible shot. I don't know if I have a putt, but that was crazy good. So yeah, this is, this is an incredible shot. Um, we got real close to parking it. Um, that's why this is here now. I don't think I can, I definitely can't take a meter off of this. So this is gonna be a little bit of, of an awkward putt, but I really wanna see if we can make it. I haven't birdied this hole in a long time. All right. Oh man, that's too high anyways. That's a tough putt from down here. All right, so, whoa. Hopefully that's a par, I don't know where that first one went. Yeah, okay. All right. Also guys, um, since I haven't done videos in a while, I wanna, I wanna shout out Lore. Uh, my homies that do all these dyes, go check them out. They're really, really, really good and talented at what they do. I haven't been able to show off their discs in a while because I haven't played. Um, but yeah, go check out lore, L-O-R-E dot com. All right, y'all, that's going to do it for the front nine out here at Scrapyard. Being injured, I can definitely, like, I, I feel it in my shoulder, I'm going to be honest. Um, it feels sore. It doesn't hurt, but it's, it's, it's pretty sore. Um, and that's kind of telling, only playing nine holes. Um, but I'm happy that I was able to come out. We shot one down on the front nine, which is actually really solid for 
how it's affecting me. Um, if you're injured, I would definitely encourage you throw lighter weight discs, focus on your form, throw more understable stuff, um, and allow your body to finish its, its motion um, in order to protect it from that kind of stop and jerk. If you think about whiplash, like that sort of thing, you need, you need to allow your body to go through its full motion. Um, and even I forgot that a couple of times, and when I did, I felt it. Um, but we're gonna jump into the back nine. That'll be a separate video, obviously. Thank you guys for your patience, uh, your encouragement. Um, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the back nine.